Hello, I'm going to be talking about two very important authors in the late 19th century. First is Ole Edvard Rolvag, who was born on the island of Dona in Norway. His uncle had emigrated to America and in 1896 sent a ticket back to Rolvag. 20 years old at the time, he traveled to South Dakota to work on a farm. He went to school as well and he obtained his master's degree from St. Olaf College in 1910. He became a professor at the same college and also a secretary of the Norwegian American Historical Association. Rolvag also wrote many novels. He wrote them in the Norwegian language, but they took on an American style and reflected the works of other Norwegian-American writers who had also written about immigration experiences. These writers include Hans Andersen Foss and Pierre Strong. Rolvag's novels mostly focused on the pioneer experience on the Dakota Plains in the 1870s. His most famous book is Giants in the Earth, which is part of a trilogy. The book was based on his personal experiences and those of his wife's family. The book realistically depicts the struggles of Norwegian pioneers in the Midwest. It describes the battles families faced against snowstorms, locusts, poverty, and hunger. It also shows the hardship of loneliness, separation from family, longing for the home country, fitting into a new culture, and the estrangement of immigrant children who grew up in the new land. The second author I'd like to talk about is Horatio Alger Jr., he was an American author in the late 1800s. He wrote many books about young boys facing adversity and overcoming it. He was accepted into Harvard at the age of 16 and studied under great teachers such as Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. After being drafted into the Civil War and serving, Alger got involved with helping homeless juvenile delinquent boys who inspired some of his novels. One book in particular I'd like to discuss is titled The Eerie Train Boy. This was similar to his other novels because it features a young boy and his struggles. Fred Fenton is the main character, and he sells good on trains traveling north from New York in order to support his mother and siblings who struggle to survive. The book depicts pickpockets, cheap boarding houses, and hotels, and overall the struggle of life in the late 1900s. The book was greatly influenced by the railroads. Thanks for watching.